Good morning, y'all. It's uh, Wednesday, nine, about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm leaving the gym, but do you know what we haven't done in a while? Gone to Publix, <laughs> done grocery shopping. So I need to get a few things. Last week, well, Monday was Christmas, but you know, last week's kind of like a free for all. So I need to grocery shop. I'm not doing all of that today. I just need to get coffee, bacon, and then maybe something to cook like some kind of meat for supper tonight. We have a ton of vegetables, but we don't have a meat. Last night, I found ground beef in our freezer yesterday, so I pulled that out, and I made like Salisbury steaks. We had one jar of the Heinz mushroom gravy, and then we had a big old bag of broccoli, and I roasted it, and that's what we had for supper last night. And luckily, we had all the things for a meal, so I just need to figure out something for supper but Candace and I are hanging out today so I figured I would start the vlog and take y'all with us she wants to go to the mall so we're gonna do that but first let's go to Publix it's not too chilly outside today I am in shorts but I was going to the gym if I'm in a sweat I want to be wearing shorts all right first stop is the restroom Cash does need some more treats I have her these but she doesn't really like them which is strange because she used to love them but this is her favorite the orange yeah the chicken and duck these are a little bit softer than just the plain chicken and while I'm here I might as well get Layla another box of food I think she has like maybe two little can maybe three cans left but she likes the fancy feast any of them she loves them all paper towels we like to pick a size versus the full sheet coffee I should have got them last week when we were here they were buy one you think I can pick two up with one hand no, they were buy one, get one free. Now I'm remembering all the things that I need. So let's get a couple things of yogurt. I like the strawberry cheesecake. That'll be good. I get the one with the extra. Oh, wow. I was saying I like this one. I get the one with more protein. Bacon. I'm pretty sure we have Koneka left over from cooking New Year's Eve. So we're going to do some Koneka dogs. I like mustard. I'm pretty sure we have mustard, but I'm going to get some chopped onions for Brian. I have a loaf of bread that I need to eat, so let's get some turkey breast to make little sandwiches. Onions. We might have some at home. Let's get this one. This one looks better, um, but I'm not sure. So just to be safe, we'll get him some onions. All right, y'all know how much I like these Taylor Farms chopped Caesar kit. I haven't had one in so long. December 29th. What's today? The 27th. Um, 29th, 20, uh, December 31st. Let's take this one. Let's grab a ground beef. I'm not for sure what we're doing with it yet. My initial thoughts for ground beef is always like spaghetti. But Brian said, let me get a little baggie while I talk. Brian said he feels like last week and over the holiday, he just ate too many carbs. So we'll get creative with this. Do any of y'all do these shots right here? These little wellness shots? I kind of wanted to try them. There's so many different brands. Immunity, detox, immunity. What do they say? Clarity, digestion. I don't know, let me know. Does it actually do anything? Lastly, you know we have to grab water. Y'all, I literally came in for three things and that was $175. Here she is, folks. We've arrived. She made it. Hello. How late am I? Dang, you gonna show my whole neighborhood? <laughs> I like your shirt. Thank you. Candace's pick is, oh my gosh. Candace's pick is McAllister's and I'm not mad about it. They have the best chicken Caesar wraps chicken ever. Caesar wrap yep. Oh, I don't like soup like that. I don't really like soup, if I'm being honest. Let me see your face. I don't really like soup. Chicken Caesar wrap. I got to have chicken Caesar wrap. Broccoli and cheddar. So crackers? Tell me. <laughs> I got the chicken Caesar wrap. Candace and I are done shopping. Last thing you saw was us at McAllister's. I'm sorry. I didn't even show them going in the Bath and Body Works. I filmed an H&M haul, found the cutest shorts. That video is already up. I'll link it down below. I am so sorry. It's hot as It's hot as H-A-S-I-T. I was trying to think H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> anyway, it's hot. Okay, we're done filming. I'll see y'all. And when I see ya, sorry that you didn't see more. She's not sorry. All right. Goodbye. Happy Friday, y'all. It's about 11.30. Let's run some errands together. But first, remember when we were just at Publix and we did, got the stuff for Koneka sausage dogs for supper? 
by the way they were so good however i said in that video as i was shopping i ate mustard on mine we have mustard we don't need any that was a freaking lie we didn't have any mustard and i was so mad about it i ended up eating or putting like a spicy brown mustard or something on it was not the same and that's what I remembered to tell you. So, hello. Let's run some errands. I'm wearing that airy set. It's cold today. I don't think I don't even think it's 50 degrees. We need to go to the post office. I have these cameras, the disposable cameras from Christmas Eve that I want to drop off. And then I thought we could run to Target. I want to see if I can find well, I need pretty litter for sure. That's really the reason we're going. But then I ended up making an entire list of things that I needed. So I want to see if they have some organizers or ornaments like tarp type organizers not like a hard box because i want to put them in the totes and we just have a ton of ornaments so i want to see if they have some kind of organizer but i have a list so let's do post office i need to do post office and fedex and they're kind of near each other so let's do those first stop number one the post office it was packed in there. I just did drop off. I didn't scan it in. Was that a mistake? I hope not. Next stop, FedEx. Y'all, both of my packages were for the post office. Tell me why I thought that was for FedEx. Um, so that one's not gonna get dropped off right now. Oh, this woman next to me. Sometimes it's sometimes dropping can be a little bit hard. Um, oh, I just hope she doesn't hit my car. Anyway, all right, so next stop, let's do, oh, she's so close. Oh no. Let's go to Target. We've made it to Target. However, the drive here, I thought, I hope I didn't drop off the FedEx package at, UP, at the post office, but I looked at that tag and the one back there, I packaged first with what I thought was UPS, I mean with FedEx. Do they send it back to you? Or do they call you? Or like, how does it work? If you drop something off at the wrong location, like at the wrong brand, like mailing brand, do they tell you? Or do you just have to go back? I don't know. That's for another moment. Now we're at Target. I'm telling you, I feel like I'm in pajamas. Like I feel like I look like I'm in pajamas. In this airy set, I don't know. I feel like it makes it okay because I put on sneakers with it and I'm like out and about, but I wonder if people just think I'm wearing PJs. First on the list, Brian and I both need toothbrushes. We have the, like these, and we thought that you could just change out the heads and you cannot. So let's just grab a couple more of these. What is this, medium? I kind of like the soft. Yeah, let's get soft. Okay, 11 bucks. I need a new face wash. I think this is the one I know it's this brand, but I think it's this green one versus this like lighter, like minty green, turquoisey looking one. Um, okay, I guess we'll just grab this one. Oh, hydrating foaming oil cleanser, dry to very dry skin. Cleanses without leaving. I've never tried that one. We're gonna get this one. I need brush cleaner and um, like a makeup removing balm. Y'all know I like the Clinique one, but I was gonna try and see if there was a cheaper option. Let's go look at e.l.f. I don't really see what I'm looking for. I think that's this, yeah, the cream. Okay, maybe we do need to go to Ulta. I see this brand Urban RX Cleansing Bar. Cleansing Bar, Cleansing Bar. Okay, Target. Okay, so that's, that's not exactly like a cleansing balm like I'm looking for. I was really looking at the Aveeno to see if there was any anything I thought could work. I don't think so. I was trying to avoid an extra trip, you know? <laughs> I see this one from CeraVe, okay? But it's 12, is it 12.99 for this tiny little container. Let's just grab one of these while we're here. I can always, I always need these. I use it so much at night. Let's move on to buns, the only like grocery item I need. I pulled out some ground beef. I think I'm gonna make burgers tonight so I needed buns for that. Have y'all ever tried the Rayos brand frozen pizzas? They're incredible. I've only been able to find them at one Walmart in town but they're so good. If you see them grab them because I'm telling you it, it was the best pizza we've had by far like frozen pizza. Dryer sheets. 
OxyClean, we are out. This stuff will get anything out of clothes. Oh, maybe we get the laundry one. Yeah, we'll take this one. Okay, I lied. Protein shakes are on my list. I've been drinking the Premier Protein and I can't do it anymore. I need to try a different one, so let's see what they have. Let's try one of these. I'm looking for aisle G38 and I cannot find it. While we're right here, let's get toilet paper. Trash bags, I can never remember if we have the yellow box or the orange box because one of them I know we don't like, but I think it's the yellow we do like. I feel like the box down there is yellow. Let's just get these, max strength, 13 gallon, fresh clean. Pretty litter is what we're here for. We'll take two. I like to always have a backup and I, I need to change hers now. And then I just wanna have an extra just to have. We're moving on to ornament organizers. I don't know if they have exactly what I'm looking for. So then I thought maybe we get creative. These are like little stackable, but they're still square. That could be nice. I wonder, I should have measured the totes. 13 inch. And how many are in here, two? Yeah, two. I could fill that with ornaments, but I guess in that instance, I could just put the totes that I already have full in the other bigger totes. Here's some smaller ones. Okay, okay, this is a bin with a lid. A different size bin with a lid. Same for that. This is a little, what is this? Drawer organizer. Hmm, that's not really what I'm looking for. I kind of like these. There's two of them. And then there's just some smaller without the lid options. Okay, let's let's grab these and hold them. Okay, wait, there's these two. This little, oh, I don't know, that might be too big. Yeah, that's too big. They also have these reusable storage compression bags. I mean, it's not protecting them at all. There's three in here for 20 bucks. I mean, that could be a nice, are they all different sizes? They are. Fill, seal, vacuum. Maybe they're not all different sizes. I don't really wanna vacuum them. I guess I could. I don't really need to though. I just need, a little separate container for all the ornaments. These are what I initially spotted and thought, ooh, they're round, they're not stiff, but it's actually a clothes hamper. But I guess I could use something like that, mesh, uh, not really mesh, wash bags. That's skinny, oh, it pops out to be big. Uh, not the hamper, doesn't, I mean, I don't know y'all, I don't know what I'm trying to do. That's not a bad idea. And then just close it at the top. What do we think about that? And then they have these bigger totes Okay, I'm, I'm lost now. Do you think I can fit all of my Christmas ornaments in one bag? And then the bag can go in a tote? How much is it, seven bucks? Let's hold this too. I need to pause for a water break in my pajamas. I think we're gonna put both of these options back. I look at this and realize only two pairs of shoes can fit and that's not enough for all the ornaments we have. This is not exactly what I'm looking for. So we're putting them back. I guess I'll look on Amazon. While we're out, we might as well stop at Ulta. This is what we want right here i see this eco tools makeup brush and sponge shampoo i've never tried this eight bucks do we like it do we not like it i see this one from it cosmetics it's 20 bucks is it any better than eco tools i haven't used either of them but it says brush bath how to care spray wipe dry that might be easier than this but this is eight bucks hello good morning y'all it is new year's eve it's probably nine o'clock in the morning, I am getting ready to film a little something. Brian is running to the store to get the stuff to make his 15 bean soup. So that's gonna be really good. I'm so excited about it because it's so cold outside. But what I'm really here to do is try this for five primer. He got it for me for Christmas. All the girlies talk about it, okay? I don't, I'm not really a primer person, but I want to be. I already messed it up. You just pull the cap off and then it's the roller. Let's get some product. Oh, I see it coming out. Okay, so what I see on TikTok is people just rolling it on. And I'm here for it. I don't even know what this primer is supposed to do, what the claims are, but I can be a primer girly, you know? And it feels so nice. What does it say on the back? On the back, it says glow and sculpt face primer. I had to get it online though because they don't sell it in store, unfortunately. All right, so New Year's Eve, we don't really have any plans, but also all you've seen me do is grocery shop so far. Well, grocery shop and then Target shop. Okay, it's kind of sticky. That's nice. See? For your makeup. Um, so yeah, all you've seen me do is grocery shop and then household shop. So 
We're gonna do something else. Yesterday at, I like it so far. Yesterday I found these like sour juice bomb thingies from Walgreens. And so Brian and I are gonna try them eventually. You'll see it in this video. I don't know if he's up for it today, but I see people on TikTok. I watch a lot of TikTok, okay? But I see people like try them and stuff. I don't think it's the exact same ones. The ones that I see you put in your mouth and they like pop open. But nonetheless, this is what I have. So we're going to try it. Also, the brush cleaner that I bought after I finished filming today, I need to use that because I couldn't tell you the last time I cleaned these brushes. So, all right, getting ready, filming. I just wanted to try the new primer with you. I like it so far. Is it still a little bit sticky? It is. I just ripped my towel. Okay, I'll see you in a minute when we, when something else is happening. Oh, also, I already turned the light off and put the tripod away. But I got an email from the post or from American Eagle saying thank you for shipping. So I did drop off the correct package at the post office. Yesterday I went and dropped the other package off, and then I dropped off my disposable cameras. They say it takes up to two weeks to get them back because they don't do them in-house anymore. How crazy is that? So that's the update. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Brian's trying to find an ad that he saw for some socks or some kind of no-slip socks. Here's my outfit. Nothing is new except for these little Ugg slippers. I call them slippers, but people wear them out. That Brian got me for Christmas. Halara leggings, L.L. Bean tea. We did all cream products for makeup today. And I feel very cute. Here's a better look at the makeup. These like wispy hair pieces. I need to spray them or something. All right, we have zero plans today except for get dressed, get in the car, drive around, see what we can find. And that's what we're gonna do. First stop is Target. Hello to Brian in 2024. He's making crab cakes for supper tonight. So we're looking for a romalade sauce. See if there's anything that we could mix. These like secret sauces might be good, like a spicy, original, golden. I think we tried this before and didn't like it. This Chipotle one. Yeah. I don't really see. So that's really what they got. Sir Kensington, special sauce for burgers and dipping. I wish they would tell you like how it tastes, you know? Oh, we need mustard. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Y'all know we need mustard. I just need a small one. Wait, do they have an even smaller one? I don't see. Okay, we'll take this one. We're gonna go with this one. The ranch secret sauce with the Cajun style. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Here's what we're sneaking in. Brian's dill pickle cashews. I grabbed another one of these. I a bag the other night, so good. But also, I've never tried the Alani brand. They were two for four bucks. But my purse is small, because we didn't plan for this. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. We're going to see a movie. Did I tell y'all that? I don't know. We're going to see a movie. So I think I'm going to take these. So you just wanted the bagged nuts, not these. All right, so that's what we're taking in, but we're definitely getting popcorn for sure. Movie theater popcorn. We're going to see that movie, Anyone But You. Popcorn secured. Brian had to get a separate popcorn because he don't like butter, and I do. We're the first ones in here. We're probably 20 minutes early. We had to pick our seats, which is new for this theater. So we're gonna watch the movie. We'll see when we get done. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> goodbye. Good morning. It's about 10.15 on Tuesday. Today is January 2nd of 2024. I'm leaving hot yoga and going home, shower, other things. We'll start the other vlog today, I think, as well. But first, okay, we didn't try the um, little candies that I talked about. So Brian and I will do that tonight when he gets off work. We also, okay, we really liked that movie yesterday. I've heard mixed reviews. We saw Anyone But You with Glenn Powell and Sydney Sweeney. We laughed, like we thought it was pretty funny. Um, so we had a good time. So this morning, Brian says, he, I'm still like laying in bed because he woke up before I did. And he's like, I don't know if I should have trusted my judgment like you said. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then it hit me last night. We had talked about, like he was said he was gonna shave his whole face and he did it. He doesn't even look like the same person. Holy cow. So you'll get to see him in like a split second. For me, it's this tonight when he gets home because it's early in the morning or earlier in the day. But he shaved it all off. He said he probably won't be doing it again. But he looks completely different. So 
I'll see y'all tonight when we do a little taste test, but I just wanted to let you know. Brian don't have any facial hair. It, it'll, his hair grows fast on his face, not his head, but on his face. So it'll start, it's probably gonna start growing back today anyways, but anyway, okay, there's that. I'll see you tonight. Welcome Brian's no hair face. I told him this morning that you didn't have any hair on your face anymore. You told him this morning. I did. I said, hey, just wait till you see him tonight. And here we are tonight. And here I am. It's night. Super jelly time. The original super jelly sour surprise. We're going to try these. We had all great intentions of trying them for you yesterday. Did we? We did not. Oh, have a grape. I'm going to take a strawberry. I thought these were the kind that you put in your mouth and they pop, but they're not. It says even better chilled or frozen. That's why I put them in the fridge. You did it at the bottom? Little, the little end. Cheers. Cheers. I can't drink a whole lot of this. So, yeah, they say they're sour. So, they're sour. They don't really have a lot of flavor. Like, it's a very muted flavor. You can eat a lot of these. That's why I bought them. Three. Oh, and four cards. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, he's got a pineapple, I think. I'm gonna say this is probably sour apple and an orange. Yeah. That's pineapple. Oh, they're cold. I can't get it open. It's too cold on my fingers. The pineapple is not so tart. Let me try that one. There you go. And by the way, also, did you notice that when you were squeezing them that they had like a gelatin almost? Mm hmm Not, not so, you know, like that. Okay. Mm -mm. I can't get them open. My feet is so cold on my fingers. For sour apple, that didn't have really much sourness to it either. The, the first two, the grape and strawberry. It says apple on the thing. Mm. They're not very good. You know what I mean? Like they're not super sour. They're a fun no. little like, let me try that one. Okay, I think if you were, <clears throat> I think if you were like, probably what they're geared towards. If you were a probably, child? yeah, if you were like a four, five, six, seven, something like that, you know, you'd probably love these things. Mm -hmm. Grownups, eh, you know, mm -hmm. maybe okay. not so much. We're gonna end this video. So. Thanks for watching the vlog. Yeah. I hope you had a good time. They got to see New Year's Eve. We didn't really do a lot. We did go see a movie. Oh, we did. Very good movie. Yeah, go we liked it. it. We liked it. Okay, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. I'll and, see you in my next one. Oh, and by the way, this is this is coming back. Okay. I told him this morning that it would probably be growing back already tonight by the time that, <laughs> that he came in. I'm not like, an, I don't know. Yeah, but when I asked you this morning, I was like, oh, you think it'll start growing back today? He was like, oh, yeah. Well, what I meant was... Oh, it is. Yeah. Is well, mine? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what I meant was it's going to start growing back up, you know, right away. Anyway, it's not going to show right away, but it's going to be there. So, so there you go. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs>